It's an extremely important couple of weeks um, mm -hmm. and the tour acts in many respects is a bit of a, a bridging um, opportunity for players leaving the under 18s programme and going into the under 20s programme. There's a number of players we've seen a fair bit of over the last couple of months as far as the under 18s programme. But there's a couple of new players that we haven't seen in, uh, enough of and it's an opportunity for them to stake their claim uh, for possible selection uh, for under 20s, uh, Six Nations. Um, and, and from that point of view, it's, um, it's an extremely beneficial couple of weeks for us to see them in a pretty hostile playing environment, playing South Africa, Ita Italy and South Africa A. Uh, and uh, obviously being away for, for two weeks um, in a fantastically beautiful country, but the, um, the rugby climate is pretty hostile, pretty difficult, and we'll see how many players will, uh, will benefit from the experience and hopefully come out of it with um, with, with enhanced reputations. The tour has been very beneficial for us in the last uh, four or five years. When you look at people like Hallam Amos, um, Harrison Keddy, Tom Phillips, Dan Jones, a number of players have benefited from it in the past. Um, there's a number of players who are not traveling because they're either involved with senior regions over the summer um, or indeed they've been involved in the Junior Rugby World Cup. So it's, it's very much a, uh, an additional opportunity for us to see some new players. We've got a number of exiles involved in our programme, um, more so than we have in any other, um, in any previous years. Uh, and uh, one we haven't seen over the last couple of months is a, is a young player called Dylan Moss, who's coming from Wellington College. Um, and a number of regions, in, in particular the Ospreys, have shown uh, particular interest in, in Dylan over the last couple of months. Uh, and we are very excited to see people of Dylan's ilk and others who hopefully will take a claim for possible inclusion in Six Nations in the 20s. And uh, from that point of view, it's extremely exciting and it's something that uh, has really benefited us in the last couple of years. The, uh, the tour is also an opportunity for these players for the first time to test themselves against Southern Hemisphere opposition. Um, I remember when people like Hallam Amos and others, we've had notable um, successes against New Zealand uh, and South Africa in the past. And this tour has, has very much been uh, the first part of that and from that point of view it's extremely important. Um, you know the results are, are, ve are very important to us but the, the opportunity for these players to be exposed to that type of environment is, is, is probably the primary reason why we travel. Uh, a number of these players haven't played since the last game of, of last season so they may be underdone from a, from a playing point of view and the South Africans are coming off the back of their Craven week but we are really looking to see how these players cope with the environment, the training intensity and the competition intensity and uh, hopefully the, um, the experience will, will help them as they go into their regular season come September and more importantly for, for Six Nations 2017 and our next year's Junior Rugby World Championship. So from that point of view there are lots of positives for us, for, for us to glean over this next uh, fortnight or so.